How do you Frank show? Where's Owen Benjamin? Get him in here. He says he brought a special guest with him. I'm curious, a surprise guest. Benny. Benny. Oh, looky Benny. here. We turn on his microphone. Hi, Benny. Good to see you. How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. You lost weight? Yeah, I was on the road for two months. Benny, come on. I thought people always gained weight on the road with all the crap food. No, I like uh I would do I would do like an hour, hour and a half jump roping every day to fight the Fight the depression. An hour, an <laughs> hour and a half. Whoa. Now, was this the, this is you, uh, were you touring with the other guys from Sullivan and Son? Yeah, it was me, Roy Wood Jr., Ahmed Ahmed, Steve Byrne, and we did 25 cities, you know, a lot of all-nighters, a lot of shared rooms, and Roy has sleep apnea, so his snoring is pretty insane. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but it was a blast. I mean, I love those guys. As soon as we got done, we just went to Utah to go camping. That's how codependent we are as a group. So now you can't even be a part. Yeah, it's pretty intense. That's why I just thought the whole cast was going to be. He's like, oh, and Owen's bringing a guest. Like, so everybody just, they just always go everywhere together. No, this is Ben. I, uh, I missed him. Yeah, hey, Benny. Oh, Benny. Look what at, uh, kind of dog is that? God, he's cute. Benny's a mutt. I got him seven years ago from a pound in Baldwin Hills, and he's super cool. Yeah, he is cool. Yeah, he's, uh, how, how old is that dog? I, I'm guessing <laughs> 10, maybe 10. Well, I mean, obviously, little dogs live a long time. Yeah, he's, you're got, saying he's, he's got, got he, the white We talked face. about the gray hair. Like he's never going to die, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this dog's going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's Benjamin Buttons. Uh, That's why his name is Benny. So what do, you, what do you do with Benny when you're on the road? Uh, either my girlfriend watches him or I take him. I was going to say, I, saw, I did see some pictures. You took him somewhere because he was Yeah, I get, I, Yeah, because he used to, when I, was, uh, when I was single, when I was like, you know, single dad, yeah. I would take him everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, he actually has a world record for most airports in a month. 60. Do they make <laughs> True you... Story. True story. It's in the Guinness Book. It's I've in the Guinness Book? Yeah, so am I. Most airports in a month. I did it. There was a um, uh, a commercial I was doing for Lenovo about traveling, mm -hmm. and so I ended up being in seventy two uh, airports in a month. And Benny was with me for most of it, so we're both in the in the world record book. And he doesn't even care. He doesn't. <laughs> Benny's just like whatever. Yeah, no idea. He literally just. Um, that's what I love about Benny is is things that give humans anxiety. He does it. Like he'll look at someone. He could look at the president of the United States and be like, "Got a treat." No? Yeah, right. It's all care. about Benny. Right? <laughs> Secret Service guy's got a treat. You suck. That's all, and that's the way it should be. Do you have to take him through X-ray and all? Because that's no, no. He, uh, I, we go through the separate one, not the the super intense. Okay, because that would scare me. No, because we go through the metal detector. Bit. Okay, and yeah. then they and then they check your hands for bomb residue because apparently people with dogs. Uh, make bombs. Right. Oh, wait, they don't. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Have you ever thought about putting a little vest on him to make it look like he's your like, seeing eye dog and, me and mess around with people at the airport? <laughs> and I just keep pulling him away from food? <laughs> no, but I have put a tuxedo on him. When my hour special came out last year, I put a tuxedo on him, and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I do and love dogs in clothes. It really, for me, that's all I need. Oh, yeah. He's just a, and, and, and Benny almost battles depression sometimes. Like, he, he looks really stoic. So him in a funny outfit, like in a rain suit, looking sad, <laughs> is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, he's just this sad little man that, like, is excited about his rain protection. <laughs> Do you post a, a, a dressed-up series of Benny on your Twitter? I used or to until it got weird. Like, people would be like, what's going on with you, man? You know? Yeah. Doing any stand-up or anything, or See, are you just dressing when up your people dog? Do no, it pictures, was just, yeah. yeah, like, sometimes after shows, people used to give me doggy outfits. Mm. You know, like, Doug Benson would get weed. I get dog outfits. So I, so I started realizing uh, what I was known for, and it was a little, um, little weird. Yeah, your br your branding has been all about Benny. Yeah, like, I, I think I need to rebrand. Was, was it weird being in Utah for th for three days and and out in the middle of nowhere? Did you have like connection to the world, or were you completely it was isolated? It was amazing. Like the isolation was on like um, amazing. Like, usually, I'd, I'd be the first to say something sucks. Like, I've come back to Hawaii before and been like, sucked. Like, <laughs> yeah. I won't just say something's cool because it costs money. Like, you know, some people just will always be like, England was great. I'm like, no, it wasn't. I always feel that I would say that about, like, because I've never been to Europe, but I feel like if I go to Paris, I feel like I'd be like, well, it's like people so, who come okay. to Hollywood. I hate Tower and, like, I don't, like, I don't like, get it. Like, yeah, we have an Eiffel Tower. It's in Vegas. We have everything they have. Yeah, and King's Island in Ohio. Bringing people the, to the Hollywood Boulevard. And, yeah, it's just like, oh. Mm -hmm. that but sucks. Utah was great. The but the one thing about Utah, funny story, is at the very end, our guide talks smack to another guide. We're almost done. 150 miles from the nearest hospital. 
And uh, sleeping under the stars, just insane. You know, like uh, we woke up, there's bobcat tracks right next to us. You know, it's intense stuff. And he talks back to another river god. He was like, yo, you signed up for the wrong thing, right? We run out of gas and have to paddle six miles. Oh, Jesus. I've never seen karma come back that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> like he sees another river god. He's like, hey, bro, you new in town? You signed up for the wrong camp last night. And the other guy's like, Okay, sorry, man. It was like caused this whole problem that no one had to do. And like, we're just immediately within 10 minutes, he runs out of gas and we have to paddle six miles. <laughs> it was insane. Like, Thanks, man. Yeah. Was, it, was it one of those luxury camp outs where you like, they, 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 they set up your tents and then you have wine and braised beef for dinner? I yeah. Mean, okay, that's nice. Yeah, I did they that they too. did like, you know, we'd wake up in the morning and be like, wow, we're really roughing it. And they're like, who wants steak and shrimp? Oh, God. And we're like, we do. Awesome. And then, but, but one of the things that I did. <laughs> Is in British Columbia, and uh, <laughs> where they brought out that uh, what do they call it—the box that you poop in, Ro the, the rocket box. Rocket box yeah. yeah, I think everyone has their own term. I, they called it something else and explained why, and I was like, I don't know. It's just very, it's very off. But how me. wonderful was that experience where you're sitting out there in the in this the the. The wild taking a dump. Oh, you Wasn't, sit on the box. It's it's cool. really primal. Yeah. I don't really really primal. You you realize how much of an animal we really are when we're out there. Like, when civilization fades away, you're like, all right, we're hairless monkeys. And it's a <laughs> I guess I, th I always thought you went in it. You didn't sit on it. You just sort of opened it and went in it. I don't know what I was what picturing. Do you, what do you mean, in it? It's like, not, you, lift a a you lift a lid and you just kind of go... And you just, well, women and, are better at coordinating uh, well, no-touch squats. Okay, yeah. Men are like, where do I sit for a while? <laughs> women right. are like, women, you know. I'm not sitting on that thing. Yeah, I, I felt bad for the guy because you probably, probably had a guy that carried all the food and all the booze and then carried the crapper on his boat. And then you guys rode another boat? Yeah, there's three boats. But And then I, I stopped feeling bad for everyone when I realized I didn't carry gas. And I had to paddle, <laughs> I had to paddle all three boats. It was a two-hour paddle. That's why your arms look so good, though. And, and Don't was, you know who we are? Right. We're on cable television, you guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're on basic cable in the, in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the finale coming up of season three. Finale's tomorrow night, yeah. and uh, It's such a good show, Owen. Like It's fun. The cool thing is our ratings have gained over the you're season. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, people love you guys. Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, yeah, it's such a great show. I follow I you it. on uh, Instagram. You get a lot of likes. Yeah. People love you. People love dog pictures. And then Heidi got to see, know. when we were in Chicago, she got to see uh, basically the Sullivan Sound comedy tour because all you guys were up there and you guys just killed it. it was, oh, thanks. It, and then you know, all the radio guys were around. So you've been hitting a lot of. The uh, funniest thing shows. is we were still on tour during that time. And every city we go to, the clubs would be like, six separate morning radios want you guys on. They've never asked anybody. And like we were kind of playing it cool. Uh, we didn't tell them why. We're just like, yeah, you know, people love the show. Yeah, the show's really, really catching some <laughs> and, uh, and, and I wanted to be like, uh, it's because we did a 3 p.m. show in a conference room for all of them. <laughs> yeah. And now they think we're nice people. Uh, are you into football? Football season opened up, NFL? It did. It opened up with some drama. Yeah. Hard drama. Are That's you into what? it at all? I, I, like, I like any sport where there's high stakes, but um, I played football. I played lacrosse. But I don't really watch the beginning of the season. I, I like to watch when like there's a lot on the line, like who's going to go to the Super Bowl, like that kind of stuff. So you don't have a team. No, I, I'm from upstate New York, so the Bills were kind of like the bad dad, you know. Uh -huh. Like they would they would kind of come to the soccer game and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we went to the Super Bowl four times and lost every single time, <laughs> and then they just suck so bad. And then they, they give you hope. They're like, "Oh, Dad's coming home for Christmas," and then he doesn't come home. <laughs> that was uh, that was the Buffalo Bills. So it kind of it kind of broke me. Yeah, you're hurt. You're yeah. Hurt. It's understandable. Yeah, Jim Kelly, I guess, doesn't uh, beat cancer, but can't win a Super Bowl. He did beat cancer. I know. But That's he, amazing. You figure, you know, if you're gonna He's get, the you're reason gonna I stopped chewing tobacco, by the way. Oh, really? You yeah. chewed tobacco? I did. God, I'm, you so don't seem like that type of guy to me. My brother's a lumberjack. I'm from a very, uh, I don't know how to put this, uh, white and poor part of the country. And they, they chew they chew a lot of tobacco. What was your kind? What well, started growing up was Kodiak, and then I would wean down to try and get more and more Swedish, because <laughs> I felt like those dudes never get cancer. So I would, I would, I would chew like snus, oh, and it would snus. barely give you a buzz, but it would still make me feel like I was chewing tobacco. And now I just, I just stopped. Ever uh, try the old Skull Bandit? I've tried it in all nice, in a nice pouch, so you don't get all that stuff in your teeth. That's what Benny chews. <laughs> Isn't it, buddy? That's what, what you choose. That, that dog is. Uh, I mean, you don't even know it's in the room ever. It's just he's mellow. Yeah, people on planes, uh, they don't even know he's there. Do you have a, a bag you put him in, or is he yeah, he's right lap? next to my feet? But then I'll take him out. I'll give him treats. <laughs> give him a little water. 
He drinks out of the little cap. So you don't have to, like a lot of people who travel with their dogs, they have to give them some sort of... Uh, Sedative? Nutri- yeah. No, I give them Adderall. Oh, a little bit of that. <laughs> I make sure just... he's really focused and connected. I'm <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> going through security. I got you. I got you. I got well, you. I take some Adderall, Benny. I want you to see my soul again like you did last week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 1-800-955-5567 is the number. Uh, Owen's going to be performing at the Hollywood Improv this Wednesday, September 10th at 10 p.m. And for tickets, you can go to hollywood.improv.com. Follow him on Twitter, at Owen Benjamin. And Sullivan and Son, it's not too late to uh, get on board, even though the season finale so for season three is is this coming uh, Tuesday at 10 p.m. It is a very, very funny show. Is it on Netflix or anything yet? So people TBS. want to go back. Com, They actually do a great job streaming it, so you can see it there. And I'm also uh, headlining Flappers at the end of the month. Last Flappers weekend of Burbank. September, yeah. That's where we hung out. Flappers and Burbank. That's where we first broke out hard. Yeah, that's where we, we hung out. Yeah. yeah. I remember you coming in and being like, oh, Benjamin, oh, Benjamin. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, was, it was a big deal. I remember out. that. And you're like, you got to see this guy. You got to see this guy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you, I love you, coming Owen. down here. And thanks for bringing Benny. Because I think last time you're like, yeah, anytime. oh, I should have brought my dog. I'm like, well, bring him next time. Yeah, Benny yeah. reminds you what life is all about. Yeah. It's about chasing balls. <laughs> <laughs> and getting treats. Yeah, treats. I'm <laughs> buddy. All right, we'll take a break. Come right back. We are Heidi and Frank.